Now, a new study released today is directly linking climate change to Quebec's record wildfire season. A team excuse me, of international scientists put together the report and say climate change doubled the likelihood of conditions that spark the devastating wildfires. Let's bring in Darius Mudavi in Vancouver with the latest on this. Darius, tell us more. So what this team did was do what we call an attribution study, and they do them very quickly. So this group is called World Weather Attribution, and what they do is they look at these extreme weather events around the world and try and find ways uh, to connect those to climate change. So if we have uh, an extreme heat event, like what we saw uh, in different places around the world, they found a way to link that to climate change by modeling what happened uh, here in our world that's warmed by at least 1.2 degrees Celsius and modeling what it would have looked like in a world without that human caused global warming. And it can be very difficult to do this for something like fires because it's not directly caused by the weather, but it's one of the biggest factors. So what they did was they took a look at all the fires that have been raging across Canada between January and July of this year. And if you take a look at this map, you can see uh, all those black dots. Those are the places where we've had these really active fires. That area outlined in blue is the study area that the researchers used because Canada is a very uh, topographically and climatically distinct uh, country. We have lots of different regions. And so they took one area that is quite similar in terms of uh, that topography. It's quite a, quite a homogenous landscape. And you need that in order to analyze fires because climate is one factor, vegetation, topography, those are other important factors. Now, when they did that, they found that, like you said, uh, the fire weather that we've been seeing was made twice as likely. So the peak fire weather we had, twice as likely because of climate change. They also found that if you take a look at this graph, uh, this sort of increase in uh, daily severity. So this is this is looking at what how intense the fire season was each day and adding that all together. You can see how much more severe this year was even by uh, the end of July when other years we've just been getting going with the fire season. Uh, you can see just how much more severe that was. That was made seven times more likely that we had an event like that. And the fire season this year was 50 percent more intense because of climate change. So that's what the researchers found. So what does this mean for the future wildfire seasons? Right, so the researchers, like I said, only looked at Quebec and they found that a fire season like this, which was unprecedented, we've never had a season like this, is now going to happen approximately every 20 to 25 years. And that's under current climate conditions. Uh, so as we continue to release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, as we continue releasing greenhouse gases, that chance is only going to rise. So what once we've never seen before, we'll now see fairly often, uh, and that's a really dangerous situation to be in. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, we, this study was just focusing on Quebec, but we know that climate change is affecting these fires in other places too. The fire weather we've had in British Columbia this year is nothing like what we've seen before. We have a record-breaking drought that's also being driven by climate change. We've had heat waves several times this summer. It's been a really, really precarious situation in terms of the fire weather here in BC as well. Same story in Nova Scotia, where we've seen these really record-breaking fires that have contributed to this Canada-wide record-breaking fire season. So uh, definitely on the lookout for more attribution studies like this in other places across Canada. Yeah, for sure. CBC's Darius Madavi in Vancouver. Thank you so much.